guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing off um, a little bit of a cheat. So up there and over here, you will be able to get to on the map Exodus Blue. Now th this is a glitch and I would recommend not to do it, but I can't say much because I've done it myself and games and had hate messages but you know may as well abuse it while you can so just follow my lead and I'll show you how to get there it's for this first one I am demonstrating all characters can do the second one I will demonstrate which I will give you a heads up will not be doable by um, any normal class I will explain later but yeah <coughs> Anyway, just follow the leads, make sure you copy everything I do. I'll be shooting to sort of give you directions. Um, I do very poorly on this one because I'm using the wrong um, glide on my walk. I usually would do this on my hunter, but I'm demonstrating the second one, which is walk only. So, yeah. Sorry for cutting this thing. Um, the reason I cut isn't because there's any secret or anything to it. It's just um, I accidentally fell off. So yeah, that's all. So once you've made it up here, look at your advantage. You got. Uh, 180 degree angle all across in the open. You can actually shoot people in zone B over there where I'm shooting currently, and it is just so broken. Like it, nothing else is more stupidly deadly than this. And I'd actually recommend Jade Rabbit if you're up here in a PvP match. And then, yeah, you can jump down. Easy. It's totally broken, and yeah. Um, yeah, I've just changed glide and this is the warlock only one and this one requires a lot of skill and we'll be going up there So what you're gonna do here is that there is an invisible wall currently here If you're too close, you won't be able to um, surpass it. You have to jump out at a good distance and I'm not sure what tree I'm sorry but the one that has the Icarus dash, once you've gone out further enough, you have to then dodge twice against the wall while going forward still. And if you get it right, then you can make it out here, and then you're out of the map. So, now if you want to get to a good vantage point to shoot people, follow as I'm doing. So next you jump up, up onto this pipe, sorry for the bad English, and then you Icarus dash across to the other wall. Now, I think I took twice, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but I've, this way I found out myself, the other method I found out with a clan which was abusing a hit in my game and I got annoyed. But you can shoot from up there, or if you want to go to that corner vantage point, you have to go onto this pipe, but there's a invisible barrier thing right here, you can see. Now, you can shoot up here, but you're fully exposed. Where we want to go is up onto there. So, we're going to go dash across and attempt to land on that plate here. If you don't, and you land on the um, concrete, if you land on the concrete, then you have to jump up onto the platform that this rises on, this part, and then jump up. Otherwise, you won't be able to jump high enough to get out of the turn back area and you will die which is not what you want but you do the same method from the last place until you get high enough now th this other way to get to an even better vantage point than just up here is a bit risky now I will just cut to where I do it successfully because I'm pretty sure I fail it on most of my attempts because yeah you see, these these are actual physical objects, but you have to be so precise with them, or otherwise you fall off exactly like that. I'll be back in a second. So 
So there's your example. So I did um, jump off from a different area, but th that's how it works. And then you have to be very precise and walk up softly. And then boom, ultra vantage point. And behind me is invisible. And if you want to even more coverage, so they don't know where you are, I will show you right now. Boom, look, just walk right through. Oh, look, you can barely see it, but you gotta be careful, otherwise you will fall off just like I did, and be down here, and lost all your progress up there. But, from there, you can just go over back to the other side that every class can do, as you will see. But, yeah, right there, that's where you start from. But that's all the glitches I can show you. There are random objects around the back which you can use daybreak to dash across or time scanning stuff. But I don't know how to, I can't do the Titan one and I didn't record any of the warlock dragging over to those random objects. But they are physical, so if you're playing hide and seek and you go on this map and they know how to glitch out, just make it mayhem and just fly over there. I mean you can see how far back the objects go. But yeah, um, there's also one more thing, is this weird thing that says obsolete pattern, and it's nothing like I've ever seen in this game before. So you just land here, and boom, what? Why is this one thing got no pattern on it? Can I just ask why? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I'll catch you in the next one. I will also be trying to make more glitch videos, and I actually have a few lined up already. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.